welcome to another video on power bi interview questions hope you're watching this series from beginning the next question which you may be asked is i'm not able to create one to many join in power bi dimension is on the one side and the fact is on the many side i'm not able to create and i don't know where the duplicate exists so how do i identify there are duplicates in the table and then how can we correct such duplicates we will go to the power bi file and try to understand how can we get such things so what i've done here is for today's stuff in the interview file i've added one additional table which is item duplicate and in power query i have duplicated the data of the item table in item dup table the item duplicate table has double of item table every record has been duplicated so i'll go to the model and here i'll try to create a relationship with the sales table and try to force it at one to many to see what is the error i'm getting so i'll add a new layout by pressing the plus button below we have already done now here i'll bring in the item duplicate table as well as the sales table now here i try to create a relationship between item id and item id so it's saying the relation cardinality is many to many this should only be used if expected neither of the column or item id contain unique value so if not unique value i say no no it has unique value so i would like to force it to many to one and it says the cardinality you select isn't valid so i'll say okay let me see if single directional can work so item do no it is not allowing me so it contains duplicates and that is why it is not allowing me so what is the way to correct that so i will go ahead and show you how do we correct this but before that i would like to know is there a duplicate or not sometime what happens see the challenge is i don't know what value is duplicate even if i want to correct it i want to know which value is duplicate maybe because from the source it is coming and i don't want to control it here let's check how do can we do that so for that let's create a new page call it q56 here in this page i'll tell you how to how can you know what is duplicate so bring in the column which is the primary key column which is item id in our case and then bring in the same column again in the visual now here you should use the summarization as count if you are not allowed to do that create a major only count not count this thing. as now you can see there are column which has duplicate values which is already visible because everything is double otherwise if there are very less values then what you can do is you can use here the count of items is greater than one i only want to see what is greater than one if there is one or two values are which are duplicate in such cases you should be able to get those values which are duplicate now you have identified that you have duplicate you are unable to create a relationship how you are going to correct it now to do that if you want to correct it in the power bi go to transform data and transform data once you go here go to the table which have the problem so here i have my table item duplicate where i have the problem there are two ways to delete duplicate you can select a column the primary key column and delete duplicate or if the complete table is duplicate you can click on this corner so that nothing is selected and then you go here into the remove rows and then you use, use remove duplicates so i'm going to use remove duplicate because i have exact double which i have taken i know now i'm not going to have duplicate but i just wanted to tell you how i done the duplicates so in the source actually i've used the append table table dot combine and i created the double copy of this and now using the remove duplicate which is table dot distinct the source the complete table the in the first step i'm deleting the duplicates now use close and apply which should remove the duplicates for you so once it is loaded i should not see anything in this table there is no duplicates now as you can see there is nothing in this table it means there are no duplicates So if I create the relationship now between item ID and item ID, it is able to create that even it did not ask for what kind of relationship we want or it did not put a pop up. But yes, you we have the properties in front of us here. If you want to modify, you can modify or you can open the manage relationship and can edit from there or double click and on the wire and you can also change it. So now you know how can you identify what is the duplicate values you have in a table on a primary key and how can you correct it. So go ahead and try out these questions and many other questions which I have already given on the blog. I will be giving the blog link here and this is the sixth question. So you have 55 questions which I have covered as individual questions as well as so there is a video which contains 50 questions and 10 case studies which are really important. So go ahead and check those out and do let me know what other questions you want me to cover in this particular series. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking, sharing and commenting. It helps us immensely. Until next time, keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.